Miau. <laughs> Fitting in for JK today, Sven on the vocals, apparently. Whoa, doggy, did it get chilly outside? It got chilly quickly. I was wondering why I couldn't hear anything. Because of these goofy hats we have on? Yeah. Yeah, I think that might be it. They also have ear flaps on them and stuff. Yeah. I can hear okay, but they are on and warm. Hey, everybody. Oh, I don't have show notes up. I've got nothing going on here. Oh, we're behind oh, the there times. we go. Hey, I got to say, so we're at 282. Show 282 oh. today. And our show notes started when you made the show note thing. I don't know how long ago. Probably is a start date on it six, somewhere. Six yeah, years ago it's, or something. It's a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I did do a. Uh, you can. There's some deal here. Uh, tools. Word count. Eighty-seven thousand words. Four hundred pages. And then I was wondering why I was a little slow on my phone. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. It's kind of okay. That's on, kind of funny. But on the phone, it just takes it a while to load, and it's thinking and stuff, and I'm thinking, maybe we'll make a new. Yeah, why is this happening? Oh, my God, because it's 400 pages Well, long. yeah, and, and also. F- Seems about five, right. I mean, It's 562,766 characters. I mean, think about it. It's been going on for years. I know, I mean, it, and it's still working. Yeah, sort of. At least on the phone, it's just being kind of maybe I don't know. Maybe on a on a Google phone or an, or an Android phone. Allow me to check. Yes, if it pops up right away, I'm going to be like, God damn it! I know it sucks. You see, you and me open the full spectrum swipe link. This one. Yeah. It's just opened right up for me. Go go to hell. Go straight to hell. No, let well, me see. Uh, yeah. Anyway. It, okay. Yes. I got a picture of a dog. Too. Did you see the dog? That dog's damn a cute. Doggy. That's damn. Um. All right. So when Sven posts a picture of a dog, you know it's, it's a cute. damn good dog. To be fair, maybe I just had a shitty internet connection. Cause you're better now. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Watch it. Yep. See? That's what happens. Too much. Too much for the thing to think. Mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah, we're doing... Hey, probably <laughs> probably wondering why we got blue hats on. These are Chinese military surplus hats made out of wicked nice wool. My buddy got them, and he, I bought a bunch of them from him. All I'm trying to do now is figure out sizing. Yep. Because they're not like this... well marked. But they got the dicky. Yep. And they got the the visor. They're they're I mean this is just for show, but I've ridden with one of oh, these yeah. for I've had, years. I've, I've had one for several years. And I will say that they're absolutely fantastic, especially the dicky. And also notice... you can put it under your, your jacket and Oh, you are not getting cold. You can like put yeah. your earbuds in the hole, or yep. maybe that's your, um, you know, your your comm kit from your superior officer. But it also has a flap that goes right over it. It's they're these are really really comfortable. So very I would nice. love to get people into these things. Like, you know, it would be cool because they're such great things. But I'll just figure out the sizing. But I can sell these for like twenty bucks. They're mm-hmm. like, they I don't know how much it would and they're, cost. They're I mean, I've had mine for three years. It's indestructible. Yes. It, it looks great, it's so got, buy one. Yeah. It's got buttons. Matter of fact, I'm going to buy this one. Like, it's got buttons right here. They're not snaps. They're buttons. I'm going to They're very this nice one. buttons. And uh, I don't know. I think, you know, it was eh, when I woke up this morning, I think it was 25. It wasn't. It's not like it's. It's not like it's mental cold, but mm-hmm. it's it's significantly it's different. It's the first snap. It's the first snap. Yeah. And uh, I so I came to the shop this morning, and I had to. I want to button this button, but it's like uh, I can't do it with my eyes closed. I got to do it anyway. Uh, I came to the shop to finish off the CYC photon version oh. of the big dummy that Carolyn and Carl have, 
and I had to take it for some test rides because I wasn't super I wasn't super happy with how it was set up. So you go through the app on the phone. It's got a great phone app. Huh. You can only do so much through the clicky click on the handlebar. So I wanted to make sure that I had it all dialed in and I'm like, well, the street mode is kind of all right, but if I'm doing it, I'm doing race mode because it, and then you can adjust everything. It's it's a very good it's a very good software system and it's a really good motor. Um you know, uh, it's really smooth, right? Very smooth. Um compared to like maybe a like a Shimano or a Bosch, it's 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 above a Bafang, might be in the middle kind of, but it's very smooth. Hmm. And I thought, you know, I, I'll just come in and set it up because I kind of know how she rides and they got a kid, so you don't want it to go 28 or 30 miles an hour. You right. kind of want to dial that down a little bit. And a bit. I, I rode around the neighborhood for a while and it was it was cold. I didn't have this wicked ass hat on. Right, right. I Can't might take warm. this one off now because it's kind of warm. It's getting toasty. I think I'm going to take it off now. I'm not. Oh, you're going to wear it the whole show? It. Yep. <laughs> All right, if you can do it, I can do it. It also breathes really well, just so you know. Maybe I'm going to have new hair. Yeah, I'm gonna go, we'll go back over to Morphic next door, and uh, what happened to your hair? Well, we were wearing Chinese yeah. uh, military. It's just, it's just when, all fell when out. you put a coat on over this, it is it is it, hugely it, effective. Like, okay, wait, I did. Okay, if first it ain't of all, broke, don't fix it. Let's and, just say yep. this. So before we talked about a Morphic, the winter bike party in Milwaukee is at Amorphic. Wednesday, December 4th. Um, I will maybe put this a picture-y thing. Day after but my that, daughter's 19. Yeah, that is next Wednesday. Yep. Um, so there will be stuff like this that we're wearing on our heads to, uh, you know, what can you do in the winter to ride through the winter? Kind of an idea. Uh, there's also, show me, give me the thing on the corner. Oh, yeah. All right. So this is just, also, very very good idea. It's to have. just it's just a, it's just like a sock with the toes cut out. But basically, it's a thing. You this is more of a put it over your neck and pull it over your face sort of a thing. You got and, it upside down right now. Yeah. But. To be fair, Bremen did do these during COVID. Like this is your mask. Oh, that's kind of an idea. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, but it is super warm. Yeah. You oh, you can put it on your head. I think J.K. uses these a lot. Uh, but th but the. Dicky that this does compared to this is that's not a yeah no 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 there's Nothing, some, there's no comparison right that's yeah. nada you know that's a nada right there this is you can ride all day wearing something like, wearing this and you will be totally fine yeah for sure yeah uh I don't know oh you <laughs> watch Tony has his Frontier radio head on too where's my where's my thing where's my deal there it is oh oh, oh there we go wait isn't it it, wait, they're not Frontier Radio. They're it says WMSC, no Frontier limits. Radio, right on your hat. That's exactly what it says on your hat. Vintage, man. It's right there on his head. See? Frontier Radio. Bro, it is. It's vintage. <laughs> now they're, should, now, right, have after you noticed, four, after they, 40 they're years, now going as... Uh, the pe- they rarely say Frontier Radio. They now say... Uh, the People's Radio. No, it's... Uh, Pollock's radio. Shit, I just said I said it like a few minutes ago, no, I can't, or a few seconds ago, but... Um, yeah, they have a new tagline. Yeah, they do, and... Uh, come anyway, come watch Come watch our yeah, radio. Anyway, this has happened. Oh, good. Let's check. Which is the reason I probably can't remember what in the heck they're called right now. But These... we are having... Lagunitas. <sighs> the Beast of both worlds. The beast of both worlds. It's like a little bi- heaven right here on Earth. Bicoastal IPA. Bicoastal. Um, I, I'll, I'll just say it's East Coast flavor, West Coast clarity. It's 8%. Allow us is, to suck this down. I mean, that's the big deal. It's, it's, it's a heavy hitter. But it tastes very delicious, which is also a problem because it's a heavy hitter. Yep. Fortunately, we only have another block to walk to get to the bar, to the amorphic. But there's one more in here that's even heavier. Oh, boy. Which we're going to throw on the cooler because, yeah, I'm not. Oh, boy. Well, I let's can't. at least look at it. It's another. Uh, it's the, we've had this on the show, but Lagunitas Maximus Colossal. I Colossal pay. Maximus. Nine percent. Oh, that's already going to make me burp. Yeah, it's, it's, 
Robusticus flavorusticus. This is very tasty. It, it's very delicious. That's why it's surprising that it comes in such as such a heavy hitter. I mean, it's too easy to drink for. It's kind of malty. Uh, a little bit. I could see that. I guess. Um, it's just got a. It's got a lot of body to it. I might have to open this up so I don't dribble down my chin. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh. Got the. Uh, I, I, I'm ventilating now. Oh, see, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Nice. Ventilating. Ventilate. Yes, good stuff. I love these hats. Anyway, if you're interested in one of these hats, let me know because I would like to have people's heads and the numbers in there. Tell me if they worked or not. And then if it didn't work, hand it to somebody else and I'll send you another one just because, I don't know, they're, kick, yeah. they're pretty kick-ass. They're fun and they're great. And the greatest thing is when you get them wet a little bit, then they really start to form to your head. Like if you if you, if you, sweat. If you sweat or you get rained oh. on or whatever, and they fit under helmets pretty well. Yeah, they really are. They're great. Since it's cold out, I'm going to tuck this under here like this. Since it's cold out, we should talk about these things, too, because uh, I have mine sitting out on the counter. And, I wore and, and Tony, mine here today. Tony wore his <laughs> here's, to, here's today. So these have uh, these are 3M uh, Thinsulated, but what is the actual brand? North? Hi, hi, Hypor. Oh, let me see. Uh, is another, it's another thing. These come from Costco. And we got them last year when they were yeah, kind of on. Hypor. That's another, that's what you call it, a, a oh, wait. brand name. The um, brand is Mobile, mobile, mobile warming. warming. Not Global Warming, but Mobile, mobile warming. warming. And they were on sale, so Tony got them, and he's like, you should go get some. He's got them, like, I got some of them gloves. And they They're, also have? Uh, USB-C charging batteries. They got batteries. These batteries go in the glove, and they make it warm. And they're awesome. They have them again, as far as I know, right now. Yeah, they do. They do. They're full price, but they do have they have uh, the, it, they have socks too. So what is full price on them? Hundred bucks on the gloves. Um, socks are I think eighty, seventy, right. yeah. eighty. Right. Me, um, so even at a vests, hundo, they you, don't have jackets. They have vests. Even at a hundo. These they're, they're are, not, yeah, these, they're probably worth hundred bucks. Well, they're well day. made, and um, they're you know good materials, and they got batteries. I actually had purchased a different pair and used them for like three days, and I'm like, these are absolutely terrible. And that's when I saw that these were on sale because I just happened to be perusing Costco to get, of course, my usual three hundred and eighty dollar purchase because. How do you leave Costco without spending some exorbitant amount of money? They got excellent chili in a can. I heard they have great pulled pork, too, but I haven't checked it out yet. I see what's happening. We're advertising well, I was, I'm watching the thing, and it keeps going to a different camera. I'm like, oh, it's still on auto. Mm. I tried that last week, and I guess I'm not going to turn it off now because it, 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 it just it does it by time. So you never know if it's really, now it's on me and it did it. Hey, look at that. But then I want to go to Tony because he's talking. Talk, Tony. I'm talking. I guess I can, I can do it myself. It It just went over there. Yeah. That's because I did it. Oh. Now we're back to us. But Rode, who we use, who who we use for our sound, the Rodecaster Pro 2, they have a new thing that the microphone into the channel activates when somebody talks and it switches the camera to the person. Seems like we See, do like a lot kind of, of like, <laughs> not like stupid um, McAfee on whatever sports show that is where they're like every single second you're switching the thing. I have no idea what he's talking about. Pat McAfee. You ever watch him on ESPNs or whatever no. the hell he's on? No. It just drives me nuts how quickly they... sports ball. It's... Egg. Kind of insert sports ball ish. Yeah. I went to a sports bar because I met a bunch of my former coworkers and it turned out Packers had a lot of scores, so I had a lot of shots. This place yes. called Who's on Third. Is that right? Yeah. They scored the shit out of those guys. Yeah. Whoever they played. The team yeah. they beat, 
They maybe. scored more points than yeah, them. Maybe. And that's exactly how football works. Well, I guess that's how it works. I think it's all games, right? Sports. I'm not sure who they play. Uh, Some people they beat, though. San Francisco. Oh, yeah. I used to live out there. Sorry. Am I happy that they have San Francisco 14 years lost? Yes, because I'm a Packer fan. Yeah. To be fair, living out there was okay. pretty cool. I mean, for the most part. Notwithstanding, you can barely buy a closet for the cost of this, you know, everything you could buy in the whole city of Milwaukee. That was, what, 1982? Uh, 82 to like 88 on and off. Yeah, pretty much. We talked about the winter bike party over to Amorphic, I believe, right? I'll put a thing in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I am, again, not probably going to make my hundo. I gotta, I'd have to do a lot of miles for my American Heart Association 100 mile deal. Because I haven't been riding. My shoulder's been just pissing me off so, so hard. You know. It is terrible. If I had heroin, I could probably do it. Oh, well, don't do that. So since, you know, stolen bike's been replaced with far better bike, I've got almost 700 miles on that thing. Right on. How about for, for the month of November? Uh, plenty. I mean, See, way over 100. This is Movember. See the beard? Yeah, I'm, the, that's I, the rest I, of I'm, it. No, I don't. I mow often. I can't wait till it's gone. But it's here now. And I mow often and frequently. Mow. 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 It's a beard. Mow. Mow. Uh, all right, so we got mow. that. We got that. Mow. We got Peninsula State Park up there in the Door County area. Yep, yep, yep. Planning on some January, February, or March kind of weekend trip up there. And they have a new nine-mile mountain bike trail in the park, hmm. which you always used to have to ride there, uh, you know, like kind of crushed gravel. It wasn't really a mountain bike trail. It was a nice ride, and there's some elevation there. You're having a good time. But it wasn't a mountain bike trail. Done like so a single track or bike track? That is something I need to investigate more by going up there and at least checking it out. Okay. At a slowest pace so I don't crash and be an old man fucking myself up again. Oh, you are going to go for the Maximus. This isn't the Saves me F -dome. buying beers next door, I guess. That's true. So that's at Peninsula State Park in Door County, which is like the Cape Cod of Wisconsin, pretty much. It's a, I don't know if I agree with calling it that, since I've been to Cape Cod a lot. And It's just, yeah, it's it, rich person's Wisconsin. Well, it's a compressed Cape Cod. In, whereas Cape Cod, the towns are many, many miles apart. They're much more uh, okay. closer. All right. It's also, oh. it's also full of fibs. Okay, Greg. Greg, okay. I'm just okay, saying. Greg. So they got that. And here's something that I just saw today before we got here. I think we were, I was at a Morphic camp. No. Whatever. Wherever I was. You know, Chia Pets are the thing for Christmas presents. When you don't know what to get somebody else, get them a freaking Chia Pet, right? Yeah. Bob Ross Chia Pet. Yeah. Willie Nelson Chia Pet. Ooh. I had no idea. It's very long and green. We have uh, Posh Spice. Chia Pet. Yeah. Have you? Did, how long do the Chia Pets last? Oh, it, it, if you keep them watered, you can have a, a mean Chia Pet. Huh. What is it? Do you think it is it like sprouts? Is it chia seeds. Yeah. Bean sprouts. Oh, it's Chia it's, seed. it's Chia I, seeds. I had Just, no idea there was, was such a thing as a Chia Seed. Sam D. loves Chia. The pets or seeds? The seeds. They're okay. really they're forever. As long as I've known Sam, like over ten years, his that's chia is part of his diet. It is it is a oh. very good thing to apparently consume. It's just got a really weird texture. I'm not a big fan of. Kind of like yes, uh, I've had the chia. Kind of like grits. No, I mean grits have a weird texture, no. like sand. Yeah, I know it's right? totally different though. Okay. Yeah, no. Well, I don't know much about eating them or anything except they make cool hair on, like if that gnome over there was a chia pet, it would have green hair. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but so you got that going for you if you were to try to get a present for someone that doesn't have one get him or, a or does, you don't know what to get them. Get him a chia pet. Get him a chia. Get a chia. Get him a chia. I'm going to, I want to burp, but I can't, but now I might. Excuse but me. But you're not sure. I did. did. There you go. All right. Well, so it'll be on camera if you're looking. 
if if you didn't notice, JK's not here. I, did we mention that before? It's just, uh, it's just, just briefly. Just yeah, Tony and Sven. You know, yeah, it's just us. He would have been well, over come. there. Yeah, you're right. Just he would have been right there. But if he were here, I would have asked him what his favorite winter gear is. But since I'm, he's not here, I'm going to ask Tony, what's your favorite winter gear? Hmm. Is it the blue thing? Is it the gloves? Is it the vest? Is it the... So or I, is it tires for your bike or there's there's a lot of there's a lot of things I really 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 appreciate for winter riding but I'm going to be quite honest with you the heated gloves were I have cold fingers I have dystonia it's a weird thing um the the heated gloves really did make a huge difference in regular riding you know hour riding um when we did the uh the 420 ride, um, I was the furthest person out because one, I had the electric bike that could go far away, and and then I had this vest and those gloves on, and I was totally comfortable, which is normally where I thought I'd be freezing. Okay, one of the things that you brought up before, which I didn't really think about, is that when you first start riding, your hands are warm. Mm-hmm. Then about 10, 15 minutes in, or even less sometimes, your hands are cold as fuck. Mm-hmm. This helps get you through that because once you've been riding for a while, your hands warm up again. Yep. Your feet and you warm. can turn them off. Yes, and your and everything is kind of to operating temperature. But when it's that kind of transition time from, like when you start, and you get like popsicle hands. Yep. Yep. Popsicle. No. Popsicle. No. That being said, I there's so many things that make winter riding better. I mean, this hat. Or whatever you call this thing, yeah, um, it's like you a, know, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, dicky, yeah. ha- dicky hat. I don't necessarily need insulated clothing, but a wind barrier, like a cheap pair of of wind, you know, waterproof wind pants, you know, or if you can do it, like a shower's pass situation, um, really does help. It, it's for me. I don't want to be cold or wet. And if you can take the wind off me and provide me a little bit of moisture protection, you know, moist, moist, if, if I'm, you know, using it to commute, I'm dynamite, man. And I actually, I, winter is my favorite time to ride. I like, I, I agree a hundred percent. I always said in the past, hopefully it holds true this year that I ride more in the winter than I do the rest of the year. I like because you. well, with the shop, which to be fair, it's not what it was because we're not fully retail, but you're you're there from you know nine in the morning or eight in the morning whatever, getting stuff done and you're you're leaving at six or somewhere whatever you don't have a lot of or you're tired as fuck you don't want to ride, so yeah I'm looking forward to the winter again. I think it's my favorite time of yeah. I I really you know it's people ask me you know like you really ride your bike in the winter I'm like I am I always say I'm like it is absolutely my favorite time of the year to ride. I mean, you you have more clothing on, so if you fall, bruises are shorter. I mean, I I and I do fall. I mean, I'm bruises I'm are what shorter. I mean, they they don't last as long because it's cold. Yeah, well, no, because you have padding. Oh yeah. So well, when you hit the true. ground, you've got like a few extra layers there to hit it, and I'm like, yeah, that works for me. And I can see that. And I like building up a mild sweat, but not getting super sweaty. So winter is the perfect time to ride for shit like that. And, you know, and there's a lot of forgiveness, you know, if you're doing trail riding and you crash a fat bike yeah. that, that snow gives you that would not happen without it. I'm going to start wearing like, you know, skateboarding shorts with the hip because maybe downhill because okay, Dave when I fall, I don't want my hips to get all fucked up. Uh, okay. All right. I got this for you. If you want a fat bike, folks. Uh, Trek Bicycles is whoring some of their old stock out for really good prices. Really? Like Marley's? Maybe it's... Or not Marley. Yeah. Farley. Farley. Maybe it's a fad. Maybe they bought in and they bought too many bikes and they got to sell them now. But there's a couple links in the show notes. Um, The Farley 9 is like, I don't know, 1200 bucks or more off. If that's something that interests you and you want a fat bike... And you can't find one at your local bike shop because, well, I don't know, it's a fad. Maybe check just those. Fad. Maybe check those guys out. Just a fad. Hmm. 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 Yeah. 
Okay, I wish you would have seen. Do you have your show notes up? I do. Look at this pedal. It's called the the the, out, the outlier. Look at that pedal and uh, tell me what you think of it because to me that thing is badass. It's a pedal. It looks like I'm, this. It looks like a halo. I'm and, at the Santa ramp. Oh wait, it just reloaded. Okay. And then the axle is dropped below, so the is pedal, that the super minim- minimalistic? It is pretty minimalistic. Yeah, that's though. gorgeous. Isn't it cool? As soon as I saw it, I'm like, I want that. If it weren't three hundred, oh, 300, I don't want that. Yeah. Well, that's Canadian. It's probably like forty eight bucks in the United States. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> sure not what the, I'm not sure what the trade ratio is right now, but those things are really cool. That is very and very and the fact cool. that like the axle, the, the pedal is below the axle, so it will always be oriented properly. So if you if you're doing crazy stuff, your foot comes off, it's always going to be oriented properly. Plus, you're like 17 millimeters, That's... 17 millimeters lower. So your center of gravity is way that much further down there. Wow, that's really weird. Just that's in a... case you were worried about your center of gravity. As you, oh, wow, As a pro wild. downhiller, you might want that. And the other thing that I thought was cool that I didn't really realize is the thing is pretty big. It's like a big thing. That big. A big thing. So you got your ball of your foot in there with your shoe, and your shoe kind of compresses down a little bit, and then it grips the it grips the it's spikes. Not a really big shoe. It grips the spikes. Oh, because it's kind of really, going you're down right, in there. Because there's that. Yeah, I think it's really a cool idea. I wish they weren't, you know, whatever two hundred eighty dollars or whatever they are U.S. But you know, maybe if they sell a shit ton of them, they can bring the price down. Right, or the Chinese and knock them off. I would not say, well, I did not notice if they're made in Canada or not. If they are, I'm fine with it. That said, if they're made in China, Thai, Thai, designed. Thai China Wan, I would not be thrilled with them costing that much money because now you're oh. just kind of making a big deal about something. Oh. And... Oh, oh, oh. Now that my Chai. Tiny one? Is that what you call it? Whatever. Anyway, my extra cycle's <laughs> gone, and I now have my my you know steel cargo bike. I found my um, Shaggy Fender. Yeah. Uh, you remember Shaggy, the backpack builder? Uh, oh yeah, kind of. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I had one of his like basically it straps down to your down tube, and it's a Fender. Right on. And I mean, they're cool. I won it in a raffle or something, and I found it Probably while I was cleaning winter my bike garage. Party. It was actually a winter bike party. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna put that on my cargo bike. The extra cycle down tube is so big, it won't reach. I'm like, that's the kind of strength when they built those, you know, edge runner extra cycles. Those things are serious steel. So do we have to get just like a bigger Velcro thing or a bigger? Well, I put it on my uh, stump jumper instead. Oh, okay. So Which yeah, is you, so yeah, bike. you have a new. I found a spot for it. You have a new, uh, well, newly equipped, old school, stumpy. Yep, yep. And you put studs on the front. And the uh, continental studless snow on the rear, handmade, as the it says on the side of it. But so you know every. Continental tire sand made too. Yeah, I think they like to say that. I know it's made by hand. Something in like that. Germany. You know, but yeah, yeah it, it it it's it's been a really good setup for years. It's a twenty six inch mountain bike, a you know, twenty six inch tire mountain bike um, that I run with uh, an actually a, a Nash bar studded front and uh, this. So, so did you find that hard to put onto the rim? Well, I don't know. Well, oh, wait, I should. I I said that way too fast. It. I put that on that rim like eight years ago. Oh, okay. So it's just a wheel you swap in and out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm lazy. Right. So I. So uh, the the uh, big dummy build with the COIC motor. Carolyn wanted studs on right away, and I'm like, all right. Well, it's not really snowing out yet, but whatever. And so those things are like my thumbs are still sore from. Sp- Putting them in, yeah. yeah. No. I mean, yeah, they're wire, so what, they're wire bead. And oh, it's a that's a big dummy. So that's a twenty six front and rear. Yep. Wow. Okay. 
Yep. And it's long. I, oh, yeah. My it's super God, long. The thing is really long. That's why the super. 20 is nice on the edge runner. I mean. I'm not. A, I, I mean, the 20 on the front of the Omnium is awesome. Yeah. Agreed. I'm not. A, I'm not. Not opposed. Negative. Negative equals positive. Uh, to a 20 inch tire on either end of a bike for whatever purpose. If it's cargo oriented, it gets you lower, right? If, if on a yeah, at, yeah, what, yeah runner, it's on the bottom and on the on an Easy omnium, step it's over in the front. And, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, for sure. absolutely. Right on. I like it. I like it. Matter of mm. fact, you want to talk about that later? Let me uh, let me just mention that Swerve, you're super awesome. Which I'm wearing. Yes, I am wearing Swerve pants today. Uh, they uh, well, I guess they're going out of business slowly. So they must have had a bunch of stuff in the pipeline. Winding down, yep. Well, it might take another year. Who knows? But it may not. And they have a Black Friday special, which is 30% off. You can see in the show notes the code BFCM24. If I can read that properly with my... Because I'm looking out the side of my glasses, and that means I really can't see... There we go. Okay. Like with the progressives, when you look out the side, it's like, I don't, I don't want to be looking out there. You got it. Here's the deal with progressive, folks. If you get them, you got to point your nose where you want to look. I have progressives. And then it works perfectly. It does. <sighs> All right. Well, there's probably a lot of shit on here we didn't get through, and I don't really care. Yeah. We did uh, blah, blah, blah. We blah, 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 blah. There's a, there's a pretty good list, and I will add to it until it happens, of Global Fat Bike Days in the show notes which would be a good excuse to visit the website, which would be really awesome if you'd visit the website. Also, I did, did you see the fatbike.com lately? Mm. All right, go look at it. I put it up there last week. I was wondering how many people would even react to it. And so far, at least as emails to me, one person thinks we should keep fatbike.com going. Okay. One, just one person. Oh, no. But that's somebody, if it's for one person, I'll do it, because we yeah. do this show for one person every week. Uh, uh, yeah. No right? Doubt. So no uh, no also, I thought maybe leave a comment and say, we find fatpike.com valuable. Long story, sh- I'm not even, we could Keep do a whole episode happened. on why this happened, but we're not going to do that today. Or X, Y, Z. What we're going to do is say, if you listen to this show and you value fatpike.com, leave a comment or send me an email Greg at fat dash bike.com. And let me know it's something that you value. If it's not, you know what? It costs a lot of money right now. We're not making any money in advertising. And if I have to keep funding it out of my pocket, I'm going to get smacked in the mug by my wife. So if you would like it to keep going, let's figure out how to make it work. Otherwise, poof. You can find it on the Internet Archive, which would be, uh, you know, uh, the Wayback Machine. The Wayback Machine. Have you ever gone to the Wayback Machine yep. and looked at stuff from way back? It's weird. It's awesome. It it archives everything. So there's the internet out there. Currently, there's an internet right now. Right? But there's also the Wayback Machine, which has everything that ever happened. Uh, well, not everything. but Nearly. A, but a snapshot of everything that's happened for the last 20 years or whatever. Naked it's, chicks. So whose server farm is that on? Right. I have no idea. And where is it housed? I would say AWS would be my guess now. Probably. Why Why? Is. Why wouldn't you go to AWS if you... Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, Jeff Bezos, go fuck yourself. Um, and that is, I guess, as far as I know, the show for tonight. Oh, thank God we can take these hats off. Oh, these, I was going to take it off before, but it's <sighs> awesome. 